Hi, I'm Katie Hacker, your host for Beads, Bobbles, and Jewels. Today's designers are concentrating on cuffs with two unique styles. Up first is Leslie Rogowski. Leslie, I'm excited you're here. I'm excited to be here. Thanks. These bracelets are beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. The patterns that you created are really, really beautiful. Thank you. I'm very inspired by geometry, and these have a little bit of that southwestern geometry, yeah. that Native American pattern. Definitely. And what we're talking about here is the center is cut out, and then you've added these beads yourself, right? That's right. There's no particular stitch involved, which is, which is cool. Yeah, so you just sew from hole to hole and the beads fill in the window. No, yeah, that's really nice. And it looks like the holes are already um, there before you begin, right? Yes, they're pre-drilled. Okay, so how do we get started? Let's get started. I have one row all the way in. These are designed for size 11 delicates. You have seven in a column and 23 columns across. Okay. So I want you to notice how uh, my first row, I'm ending up with the thread coming from the front to the back. And now I'm gonna come through from back to front, almost like stepping up in beadwork, to start my next row. And I'm gonna pick up the whole row of beads. I'm just gonna pick up seven beads. Okay. So all of your thread work shows in this piece, so you could use different colors if you wanted that to be part of your design, but you kind of want to be mindful of keeping it consistent on the front. That's right. It does show where it exits the beads and um, comes around to go to the other, the other hole. So I'm going, now I'm going to come from back to front, and I'm doing this because I want these rows to be really sturdy. Okay. So I'm going to come out the second hole from back to front, and I'm going to go through that column of beads again. It feels so a little bit like I'm looming. It, it is a kind of looming. It is exactly that. And I'm pushing up from underneath. Um, the window, it's, it's cool, so um, you can really like access your beads pretty easily. So I'm just going to sew back through the beads that I just strung. Okay. I'm going to come out on top, but there we go. I need to make sure that this column is attached on the back and the front. So you actually go through each column three times. So okay. I'm bringing the thread through the window again and I'm gonna come up that second hole. So this time the thread is holding the column there. There we go. Well, anytime you're doing this type of project, I feel like you're creating kind of a little piece of beaded fabric, you know? That's exactly right. And it's just nice to have that sturdy. So here I came from back to front and I'm going the third time through that same column of beads. Okay. And again, this is just working with a needle and thread and going through it. It's not really a stitch or a technique and I'm going back down from back, from front to back. So I can come out the third hole from back to front. So on the back of it, can I show you this one? Sure. So on the back of it, inside, you have this nice, tidy thread pattern. Even though you're not gonna see it when you're wearing it, it's nice to keep that nice and clean. It does look really good, it's, and it also, that way, there's nothing that's going to get snagged. That's right, know? that's right. And there's no knots, because I started with a stopper bead, and I'm gonna pull the stopper bead off and thread this on a needle and just go one more time through that first column. And after I do the last column, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna come through the last column of beads that I add, and the tension of the thread inside the beads is what's gonna hold it. There's nothing pulling on these beads, so you're gonna have this nice, clean, finished, really professional looking cuff. For sure. To wear everywhere. Yes, I love these. Can you show us one more row either on either Sure, spot? I absolutely can. Okay. So here are my threads coming out the back of the second hole, and I'm coming out the third hole, so I'm gonna string seven beads, and I'm just picking up a regular pattern. I have a tutorial for you guys that has a lot of different patterns all graphed oh, nice. out, so you can just copy those. Okay. And instructions that are repeating what I'm doing. So I'm coming from back to front. I'm gonna go through the window, and I'm holding the beads in the window. And now I'm gonna come from back to front through the next hole, the third hole. Okay. Like that. And I'm just gonna turn it to be convenient to hold, and I'm gonna go back through that column of beads. So this is your third column. 
So of I think as beads. you're working along, you kind of get into the rhythm of this, and you can see where your bead placement needs to be. You know, That's so you could exactly tell if you've right. only gone through twice. It's a little bit um, not. It doesn't have as much. Um, body to it or that's you know, right it's going to firm it up yeah. and you can always look at the back of your cuff to think oh do I do front to back or back to front because you can see that it's starting to form the little zigzags that I have in my diagram yeah if you do another one I bet we'll see more so I have <laughs> that's right so I have one more pass to go through here so I can go from front to back to step up to the other one I'm just going to go right through the beads that I just stitched we're still in the third column and these there cylindrical beads, too, that creates this kind of very smooth... Fabric. Fabric, you know, it's, and everything yes. on here is smooth, so there's no abrasion on the thread. There there's isn't. The, it's snagged. It's um, the holes, you know, are smooth enough so you're not going to snag your thread. Yeah, and here inside the channel as well. And inside the channel, that's right. Okay. So, all right, nice. now I know I have to step up by going from back to front to the next row, and I'm ready to string the fourth column of beads. Okay, well, I wanna ask you this question, and not to put you on the spot, no. but when you are designing patterns, mm -hmm. you are an artist and graphic designer, so this is like, you know how to do this. But it, if it were me, what tips would you give me for how well, to create my own design? Get a piece of plain old graph paper, and because the pattern is just straight across and up and down, and you can play with colors that way. Also look for inspiration like I did to Native American patterns and I adapted them to make my own. So you can even just do stripes. You know, like here, I'm doing just a solid color with a single color as the middle bead. You could do that all the way across and it would look really awesome. Oh, it would look great. Yeah, so you can make it up as you go along, even if it's just a mix or a blend. Think of the texture that it would form in the beadwork. It would look really cool. Pick your favorite colors and go nuts. Right, I totally agree. Yeah. And you have this whole Southwestern thing going with these patterns that you made, but you even chose Southwestern colors for this. Well, I did. <laughs> All you have to do is put turquoise <laughs> and coral together and we know it's a right. Southwestern. But think about if you, if this doesn't float your boat and you want to do something really graphic, do something in black and white. Oh, you love And just black do and stripes and che or checkerboards by alternating every other. And because it's an odd number of beads, you get to do like that middle line. Oh, so that's that a middle great, line symmetry. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah. Now, I know this one isn't quite finished, mm -hmm. but can you show us what you would do to tie it off or weave in the ends or however you would? Sure, and I can show you that by doing it with the tail thread because you're gonna do exactly the same thing okay. when you get to the end. There are, I don't do any knots. I'm gonna pull my, my bead off and I'm gonna do a really fast needle threading. And uh, okay. you're gonna, you, what you do is you thread the thread on the needle really fast, pull it down till it's a pinpoint, goes okay. through. You're just gonna sew right back through that last column of beads and trim it. That's all you do. Oh, okay. It's just sew through. Okay. From from the back, um, hopefully you can you know maneuver that, and it's just gonna you're gonna trim it on the back so the end doesn't show on the front. Right. That's it. And you're gonna do the same thing after you do your last row. All right. Well, let's take one easy. final look at your bracelets here. These are gorgeous. Thank you so Thank much, Leslie. You. I always love the ideas that you bring.